Hello, everyone. Uh, today, I'm going to take you through Ercilia, our motivation and our journey so far. Uh, uh, so a little bit about me before we start. Um, I am a machine learning engineer, and I'm an open source maintainer with Ercilia Open Source Initiative. And I joined them as an outreachy intern back in December 2022. So uh, before we start, let's look at a problem. And then I will walk you through the solution and finally the results and our journey so far and the tools that we've developed. So this is the world we all know. And there's a large income disparity across the globe with high-income countries being only a few in number. However, this view kind of becomes skewed when we look at other statistics, for example, population. A large part of our world's population does not reside in these high-income countries. They reside mainly in low-medium income or low-income countries. And this view becomes even more skewed when we look at the burden of disease. A large part of the global south, uh, low income pop, uh, populations residing in low income countries bear the largest burden of communicable and non communicable diseases. And the picture becomes even more bleak when we look at scientific literature, because as expected, it's generated from high income countries due to abundance in infrastructure and resources. And this severely puts a large part of our world. Uh, at a high disadvantage because these diseases get neglected in mainstream research. So what is the solution and how are we doing our bit to make this world a better place? At Ursulia, we are basically a UK and Spain based nonprofit building low or no code tools to facilitate early stage drug discovery research for low resource settings. All of our software is completely open source licensed under GPL3 we're entirely volunteer driven, including academic and industry volunteership and in industry volunteers, uh, such as companies involving GitHub, which have helped us automate a large part of our act, uh, uh, workflows entirely and digital ocean, which has provided us infrastructure so graciously so far. And we also do internship based volunteers, uh, such as, uh, organizations like Outreachy. In fact, as I mentioned earlier, I'm also an Outreachy, in I was also an Outreachy intern when I joined Ursilia. And we also invest in our contributors by organizing tutorials and workshops. Uh, an example of which is an introductory course on drug discovery that was organized uh, in partnership with uh, the Welcome Center for Anti-Infectives in uh, Research uh, in collaboration with the University of Dundee. And our flagship tool, Ercilia Model Hub incorporates AI models from literature across various stages of drug discovery, as well as models from research that we carry out in-house. So the result, which is the Ercilia Model Hub. Now, the drug discovery pipeline incorporates a lot of stages which are open to several levels of optimization. However, for sake of simplicity, uh, I'm going to talk about the simplest case here. Uh, drug, a lot of drug discovery problems can be mod modeled as a binary classification targeting, uh, taking some drug candidates that target a pathogen. Uh, for example, it could be a malaria parasite or it could be an influenza virus. And with your drug, uh, you would want to describe your uh, drug candidates into uh, some machine representations and then run ML workflows on it. So the Ercilia model hub has incorporated a lot of these models from ex existing research as well as uh, the research that we've carried out in-house. Uh, uh, in uh, and we have included uh, models involving molecular embeddings, uh, activity target predictions, and also chemical sp space exploration, which provides us to explore novel drug candidates which have not been synthesized so far. So far in the two, more than roughly two years of our existence, we have 5,000 commits across all of our repositories. Uh, these include the model hub in itself and all the AI models that have been incorporated by our contributors and some other tooling that we've built under the Ercilia umbrella. And we have managed to amass a community of over 70 contributors 
Uh, and these are just the code contributors. There are also a lot of non-code contributors who are spread across the globe. Uh, we work across different time zones, Europe, North America, South America, Asia, and Africa, thereby, thereby involving not only the people who provide the resources, but also people who can make use of these resources and contribute to making our mission better. So, questions? Uh, we basically apply for grants, and sometimes it's not exactly monetary funding. For example, GitHub uh, set up our uh, GitHub Action workflows almost entirely free, uh, and a lot of the contributors that we get are in the form of interns. So, for example, Outreachy program uh, provides 7,000 USD for 12 weeks, and so you have a lot of students who are excited about, or people in like taking a career break or doing a career pivot, who are excited about working on this, get paid through an external organization, but work with Arcelia. So, yeah. Yes, we do have a lot of work being carried out on developing novel drug candidates for uh, malaria. A lot of our work also happens in Africa. For example, uh, our co-founders right now, uh, the reason they couldn't be here, are traveling to Cameroon today for basically working on this part so far. Uh, there's a lot of uh, publications, and uh, we get published across journals like Nature. So we're, you're like free to look them up. Yeah. So yes, you can connect with us. Uh, and I'm Dhanshree. And reach out to us. All right. <laughs>